Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So ADA is moving up. We did hit the reversal area here on the 2nd of November. That is always a signal that things could be turning around. It is currently turning around, but I'm currently standing, uh, let's say true to my, to what I said before in that should we move higher and should we even break above this B wave high, I will consider this first as an extended correction. Yeah, and that is because of the um, first of the depth of this wave two. Yeah, because it really only touched my target area. We didn't really go through it. Oh, well, we don't want to go through it, but we didn't uh, go deeper into it. Yeah, we've only really hit the first Fibonacci level. And then also, I'm still not really confident about this uh, wave structure here. But anyway, um, also at the moment this move up is not yet very impulsive i'm rather reading this as a corrective wave pattern um, and it looks like a three wave structure at the moment to me and could fit very nicely into a wave x here you can actually very nicely see because I, you know sometimes i get the questions about what is the difference between a wxy and an abc structure and here you can see it very nicely because the um, wave w ended here at around 38 cents and you can see what does the wave w actually consist of it consists of a wave a in this case actually um, a diagonal then a wave b to the upside and a wave c to the downside so it is a three wave structure a three 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 structure each of these subwaves w x and y um, are yeah three wave structures and um, it's a so-called double zigzag right where the wave x is the connector and then waves a and wave y are usually zigzag patterns um, but yeah they can take quite complex forms really but this is sort of at the moment the expectation alternatively yeah and i have to put it on the chart alternatively the wave two could already be in yeah um and uh, we have reversed from here and the wave two could be in because we've hit the support area the reversal area but it's not enough of a signal for me yet to say that it was the case. I think I will only make this primary expectation that the wave two was already in as soon as we break above the 44 cent level, because then it gets unlikely that this is still a double zigzag. Um, the way to play this, of course, you know, in terms of risk management, that's a, you know, a bit too late now, but usually what I would do, but I didn't trade this because it's a bit unreliable, as I mentioned, you know, I always try to when I try to trade or trade or you know buy something I'm normally looking at the most reliable charts ADA at the moment is you know it's starting to look interesting but it's still a very unreliable uh, structure a bit of a mess down there and there are much better charts you know why would I currently trade ADA when I have an Ethereum when I have an Aave when I have a Chili's when I have an Optimism um, you know there are just much better charts out there Matic Quant you know um, so again, here is still sort of very, very early days after a, a new low that we made on the 30th, on the um, no, on the 21st of October with 33 cents. It's a bit of a wait and see, really. But of course, you know there is a bullish potential here in a wave one to the upside, a wave two down. But my primary expectation is still that the wave two will stretch out a bit more and come down once more lower, um, even if we push higher here. But important will be that wave one high at 44 cents. I never finished my previous sentence. So actually, the, w the way to play this is to, for example, add a long position here already. Yeah, if we go lower, then obviously you will be stopped out at some point. But adding a, um, a long position here, which is now triggered, obviously, um, because there will usually be a bounce from the FIB level anyway, um, that could then be at some point realized in profits or just held. You know, you could hold it and then um, scale in further in the support area. And should we go through the support area, you would normally be stopped out either setting the stop below the support area or even below the previous low at 33 cents. So it's sort of not telling you to do it, but it's one way of how this can be played. And, you know, had you had you held, uh, put a long position in here in this reversal area, same story here, actually, that was a short area, um, both would be in profit. Yeah, well, these were not. You should have realized profit as you go into the long area, obviously, but both would have been in profit. But yeah, primary expectation still to come down lower. Um, and if we look at the Fibonacci retracements, the wave X has now hit the 61.8% FIB level. That's a very relevant re retracement. If we go through 
this level which is at 41.7 cents exactly where we are now and i currently don't see a bounce from there then the next resistance would be the 42.7 cent level getting above that will already make a bullish direct breakout scenario the alternative a little bit more likely because it's the 78.6 percent retrace but it won't really be confirmed until we break above 44. Okay, that's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.